Well, we are heading out on our October 2023 anniversary trip. Usually every year we go somewhere for our anniversary, which is actually tomorrow. This will be how many years for us? 16. 16. I'm terrible with numbers. So we are heading to Vogel State Park. We were really excited to be able to land a campsite there and we're gonna head up. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is our actual anniversary. Tonight we're gonna be spending the night. We're not sure yet exactly where we're gonna be staying at. And Friday night we'll be actually at the campground until Monday. We're heading home Monday. We are gonna be checking out Ella J, the Apple Festival. I've been wanting to do that as a bucket list thing that I've been wanting to do for year after year after year. And it just never falls on the right weekend when we always go somewhere for our anniversary trip. So we lucked out this weekend, check it out. And then we're going to Blue Ridge probably for the day and Helen as well. We're also going to be meeting up with some friends that have moved to Murphy, North Carolina. So we will take you on our adventure. We did not make it as far as we had planned. We are at a rest stop mm. just outside of Cordial. Oh, so good to lay in bed. <laughs> we were planning on trying to get to Bucky's tonight to fill up. We have 54 miles to empty, 36 miles to Bucky's. So we're going to be skating in on fumes if we make it to Bucky's tomorrow. But uh, we were lucky there was only two spots left in this uh, rest area. And we thought we were going to hit a semi trying to get into the spot. I actually had to have Allie get out and guide me. To show you my cute little shirt. It says, I teach the cutest pumpkins, pumpkins in the patch. Yep. And I have to say, I'm leaving those cute little pumpkins behind because I'm going on a trip this weekend. That's right, our anniversary trip. Yeah. And Nikki was ready to stop. I'm just gonna say, she had had her fill of driving today and she was hungry and she is scarfing down some food. Well, again, I'm gonna say that the Safety Plus steering stabilizer did amazing. So happy with that purchase so far. And I'm tired. I think we're going to uh, hit the sack, get up early, and drive the rest of the way to Vogel tomorrow. Well, we are almost to our destination. We got 10 miles to go. We are in Blairsville, and we're getting ready to go around the town square in this big honker of an RV. <laughs> I hope we can make it around the town square. What do you think our chances are? I think we'll make it. I don't think we have a choice now. <laughs> Piece of cake. No problem. Now we are on the last leg of the journey. So the last time, and actually the only time we were here at Vogel State Park back in November last year, when we released that video, we were told that if we didn't want to do all the switchbacks and the real steep roads coming into Vogel, then to come through Blairsville. So that's what we did this time. And so far it has made a big difference. We made it! We're here at Vogel State Park. Now, this is going to be interesting because I remember this uh, uh, drive back into the park here is a little windy and tight. So, I would say this is going to be uh, a little tricky if we pass uh, or meet a car or another RV. But, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Wow. My goodness, this is definitely the month to come. Wow, it is beautiful. Those leaves. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray. You need to hold still, dude. I'm trying to film you. They're checked in. Mm-hmm. And the whole we place just, is full. And we already met Craig and Susan. They're out hiking and walking right there with the puppy dogs. Well, we are checked in, heading back to the campsite. It's got to be one of the most beautiful campgrounds this time of year. I just can't imagine 
any other looking any more beautiful than this with the leaves. So we're looking for campsite number three. Last year when we were here in November, they were redoing a lot of the campground. So I hope I don't get lost trying to find it. Last year we went that away because all this was under construction. So that is a one way do not enter now. So our campsite should be right up here on the left. If I am reading the map correctly. I think that's our campsite right there on the left. So we just walked into Craig and Susan's RV and it's, it's their anniversary too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so we were very surprised. Happy anniversary. Very shy. Very yes. Baby pink. Yes. <laughs> so we got here at about 12:30 today, which is kind of what we planned on when we stopped last night and figured we would get up early and we knew we had about five hours of driving left. And once we got done and got set up here, we went over and Craig and Susan ended up taking us to a, a little, nice little hike. We took a quarter mile hike at DeSoto Falls. It was really pretty all the way to the top. So we are here at DeSoto Falls. We're gonna hike down and see some falls that we didn't even know were here the last time we were here. Craig and Susan turned us on to this and we are taking Nikki for a little hike. Yep, the, the lower falls was a quarter mile. The upper falls was three quarters of a mile. So we opted for obviously the easier of the two. And, and even though it was to the lower falls, it was still a little hike to the top. Yeah, you still had to climb. Don't let the lower falls part fool you. It, it was, yeah, it was climbing in and still. And uh, coming out was easy though. check out the museum here in Vogel. We did not do this last time. Actually, did not even know there was a museum here. It was Craig and Susan who uh, told us to come down here and check this out. Civilian Conservation Corps Museum. That is an old telephone. Does the telephones back in those days, do they remind you of a face? It's got two eyes and a nose there and a mouth. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like it would open up. Yeah, I wonder if that was on purpose. And if you don't have an RV, you can rent cabins here. They have a lot of sw swings here surrounding the lake. Perfect place to sit and just relax or read a book or spend time with God. It's just a beautiful place. Oh, here's another cabin. These cabins are so cute. Yes, they are. Love watching the leaves fall down. <laughs> Hence what they call a fall. Look at all the leaf colors. Oh. So we're out hiking this morning, the Trilata Trail. Is that how you pronounce it, right? I think so. Um, it's a trail that wraps around the lake here at Vogel. And we thought we would try to get down here and see the waterfalls this morning. So these falls here are really man-made falls, so to speak, because of the man-made lake. They weren't here, I guess, originally naturally, but wow, they're beautiful. Yeah. And it's just a short little hike back here. Not, not far at all, so glad we did this again. 
Love waterfalls. She's like, I can do those stairs now. It is our anniversary today. It is October 20th. October 20th, Sweet 16. Yep. So we're going to celebrate tonight with some uh, campfire cookout. And we actually stopped on the way back from DeSoto Falls at this cute little grocery store here near the park. If you're like me and you like handmade soaps, it's the place to go. They have these soy candles and a lot of different souvenirs. They have a lot of different food items. They have a lot of vegetables and a lot of apples because this is very close to LJ. Yes, it is. I saw the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. And that pumpkin was $80. Oh, it was for sale? Yeah. I didn't even know. It was a big pumpkin. <laughs> Whoa, this is the first time we've actually kicked on the furnace here in the, the new RV. You can hear up above the heat pumps running. And this RV has two uh, propane furnaces. So we got uh, the front one running right here. And it's only 45 degrees out, folks. It ain't like it's freezing, but... Uh, For this Floridian, from Georgia to Florida, Floridian now, my blood's thin. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Our food's <clears throat> probably already cold just from cooking it and bringing it in and waiting a couple minutes. Got our new pumpkin candle we got yesterday from the cutest store ever. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have some breakfast and get ready to head to LJ. What a glorious morning. We are heading to LJ to the Apple Festival. Just wanted to take a quick second to say that uh, Vogel State Park, they have Wi-Fi and lots of Wi-Fi repeaters now since they've uh, remodeled the campground. And we have never had such good Wi-Fi in any campground, resort, or otherwise in our lives. <laughs> I mean, this Wi-Fi is usable Wi-Fi and you can literally watch Netflix and, and you know YouTube and all that I mean it's it's great so Florida and our Florida State Parks they need to take note we want sewer hookups at all sites and we want good Wi-Fi come on man it can happen you know let's get with the times okay well, Chuck we don't always provide parking but when we do it's right next to the festival in two places it was like it was meant to be <laughs> God wanted us to be here that's right <laughs> Look who we found here in LJ. Oh, love it. That is perfect. She made it where you take the picture out and put your yeah, pictures in. You can in. change the picture. Oh. I just pulled that one off because it was the one where you got your thing. Where we got and it. And I'm assuming then you that you posted this. it on that date, so I'm hoping that date is correct. After finishing checking out the Apple Festival in LJ, we then followed our friends Terry and Kathy over to White Path Creek Distillery for some moonshine taste testing. For $17 a person, we were able to sample a lot of different homemade moonshines and vodkas. And we learned that the guys that were there are on a TV show called The Moonshiners, which we did not even know about. But we had a really good time there ended up picking up a bottle of butterscotch vodka really good after that we uh walked around the grounds a little bit and then headed back towards the campground well we stopped back at sunset garden and i got myself a whole bag full of apples yeah we got firewood firewood <laughs> for the campfire mm. and kathy and terry are following behind us and they follow us back from elegy we are going to hang out tonight, watch some football, hopefully. Love the fall, y'all. Nothing better than the fall. So Nikki has been sitting here for probably about an hour now, and she is she fixated right across the way. Well, you got a chance, though. Way, way, way down seven. over there, right. if you look. Right up. Let's go into overtime. Oh, You'll see the squirrel. And literally, she has not stopped watching it. She's in the height of her heaven right now, enjoying a squirrel. And there he goes, jumping across the road. Oh boy. She's like, where are you going, friend? Where are you going? Oh yeah. Oh, Nikki, did it leave you, girl? It did, it left. Your friend left you. It's like you filming scared him off. He didn't want to be on film. Damn it. She's like, that stinks. 
Oh. I know, baby girl. We're having our fire and that firewood ready to go. Having dinner and enjoying some Alabama Tennessee football. Are you ready to hit the road this morning and go to Helen and go see Terry and Kathy's place? Are you? Did you sleep good last night? <laughs> you look a little rough. You look a little haggard. We are heading over to say goodbye to Craig and Susan for this trip. They have to head home today. You gonna ride home with us? Going home are you with going us? home with us? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ride with Nikki. I'm, oh I'm going to goodness. North Carolina. Well, we are in North Carolina now. It's pretty crazy You're driving along here in Georgia, then all of a sudden you see the North Carolina sign. On a backcountry road. Yep. It's yep. just so pretty, this area. Love it so much. And we are heading to our friend Terry and Kathy's house over in Murphy, North Carolina. They bought a new cabin in the mountains. We want to go check it out. Yep. And then the plan is to go on to Helen later today. So we'll see how the day pans out. What do you think, Nikki? Uh-huh. This is like Nikki's like, I could live here. Man, this is gorgeous. We are driving all the way over there just to buy a new Stein shot glass. Just kidding. We're going to enjoy the town, but we do need a new shot glass. Yep. But the hammer broke off. So we decided to stop by at Fred's Peanuts. Fred's and famous peanuts. Yep. Get some apples again. Well, that is <laughs> <laughs> Those are big. You can make a big pumpkin pie. <laughs> well, we got parking here. We actually got around a lot of that downtown uh, traffic back up because we went to the back streets. And I was just doing that just to kind of get around the traffic and just see the part of the town we hadn't seen. And lo and behold, we end up getting lucky. Finding got a, parking. Got a parking space here for $10. Yeah, right, right on the back side of the main drag. So we are here in Helen. We just got through uh, going to Fred's Peanuts. Fred's famous peanuts, we should say. <laughs> and uh, loaded up on some more apples. Now it's time to enjoy Helen. Oktoberfest going on here. And look And for Allie to get stung by a bee. <laughs> so we're gonna eat dinner down here in Helen tonight. And Enjoy our last night here. I don't know if this is going to be enough beer for me. What do you think? I don't know. That's half of it. We've already eaten half. That thing is huge. That thing's bigger than your head. Well, we just ate at Hoffenbrau. I guess that's the way you pronounce it, right? Hoffenbrau? Hoffenbrau. But, uh, I was going to get a wiener schnitzel, but he talked me into a pretzel to start with, and the pretzel was bigger than both of our heads combined. <laughs> so after eating the pretzel, I was like, I don't think I can eat all that food. So I ended up going just chicken wings as an appetizer, and holy mackerel, the chicken wings, ton of chicken wings. So I couldn't even finish all those. But the, beer, <laughs> but the beer was the best. It was a big boot. It was a big dash boot, and it was literally probably like four beers in that thing. How are you feeling right now? Feeling pretty good. I am not <laughs> feeling much pain. Let's put it that way. I had a shot of Jaeger. It's German. Jaeger's German after all, right? That's right. So we're walking to town of Helen. Looks like traffic has died down a little bit. And we're gonna enjoy maybe another hour here and then head back to the campground. And this is our last night going home tomorrow place here. We don't remember seeing this place before. Oh. It's really nice with the fountain in the middle. Yeah, it's all new. The bar. Huh. What's the name of the place called? This is uh, Alpine, Alpine Cafe. Alpine Cafe, yeah. Pizza. Huh. Hanging. Brick house, burgers, and pizza, and pasta. So I just realized that this stump here 
It used to be the largest tree back in 2001. Back in 2001. Huh. Hey, girl. You going for a sleigh ride? <laughs> back to Helen we're cutting through the mountains here and I forget what the name of this is uh, it's something gap I think it's like boars gap or boars head gap or bear head I don't know it's some sort of gap and we just missed the Sun shining on the mountains as it's setting but man it's still absolutely beautiful well we just got back to the RV and we can't get our power on the lights won't come on it's dark in the rv as you can see I'm looking through the front windshield that's the only lights we see is across the way but the fireplace Whoa. works nikki's hungry the fireplace works the microwave is flashing the lights are not coming on the fridge is on and nothing was tripped was it no. So something's going on. I, don't, I just don't even understand. It sounds like this thing's buzzing. So we are at the point right now where we are trying to figure out why everything will not turn on. The only thing we've got that's working is the fireplace, the refrigerator, the light over the bed, and the microwave light. But we have now been sitting here for over an hour trying to figure out. We've unplugged the RV from the post. We've been going through all of this wiring and buttons and different things here to no avail. So stay tuned for as the world turns with the Powell's. Crisis averted. We were talking to a few friends of ours, Jamie Stevens and Mike Wagner, and we were just ready to give up. Uh, we, Mike actually kind of narrowed it down that we were, didn't have 12 volt power, so um, all the all the outlets worked and everything. So we figured, well, we have AC power, we don't have 12 volt DC power. Just getting ready to hang up, saying, <laughs> "Well, we're just going to have to call a tech in the morning and find out." And there's nothing we can do. I even tried putting a battery jumper on the the battery out there, thinking maybe the battery drained. And right before we hung, hung up, he up. goes, "Do you have a kill switch for the battery?" And I was like, oh my God. Ding, 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 ding. I went over there and I'm like, the red light's not on. And I'm like, flip the switch, everything comes on. I'm like, Allie, what did you do? It was my fault. I admit it. I was trying to find the master turn on light switch and I turned off the kill switch button. <laughs> she didn't know there was such a thing. So she knows now. So. Hey, we learn lessons through hard times and this was a hard time. We were thinking we weren't getting out of here tomorrow. We got to <laughs> run the slides in. Nothing would come on. So it's been off long enough that we so, have to reset. Be careful if this ever happens. Just make sure you chill. Check you that check first. That. Just make sure you check that kill switch light for the battery. It's time for a drink. It was such an amazing trip this time. The weather was just spectacular. The friends that we got to spend time with was even better. I just love this Vogel State Park. It is the epitome of beauty and nature at a good state park. You've got the mountains, beautiful trees, you've got the lake, and you've got this sexy man over here. <laughs> no, seriously guys, it, it is a wonderful state park. If you've never been here to Vogel, you gotta check it out. Well, one last thing before we leave Vogel State Park here today, we are stopped here at a very crowded packed visitor center because they are constructing parking lot over here so everybody's parked here people are parked in the RV spots that shouldn't be parked in the RV spots but Allie wanted to run in and try to pick us up a t-shirt a piece so I'm kind of parked in here Cotty Wampus right now hoping that she uh, can make a decision soon and pick out a t-shirt and get it done because it's getting very uh, 
how should I say, nerve wracking here right now. But we're getting ready to hit the road for home. So we are super close. I don't know if you can see, but we are about to hit the, hit the that wall. That is one thing about Vogel I don't like is the entrance. Yeah, so of all the luck, we would have three people wanting to pull in right as we're trying to make it out that exit. I mean, that is a tight, tight turn and exit there. We barely, barely, barely avoided scraping the side of the RV. And the Bronco. I think the Bronco was a little better off than the, than the RV was. Very scary. 